And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven as Aggro. This is a deck that I've been excited about. Uh, kind of played against something like this a few days ago and it really uh, made me think about this. And, and yeah, I've been excited to do this ever since. All right, so you know, calling this Draven as Aggro or maybe Draven Easy Aggro. You can think of it like that. Like this is hopefully an easy aggro deck. All right, so we have, uh, you know, we're, we're very aggressive, right? Like, we're, we're just playing basically regular old, uh, uh, you know, PNZ and Noxus aggro. But the tricky part of this deck, and what why I'm really excited about it, is our champions. We got three Draven, of course. Like, Draven's awesome. But usually we'd want to pair Draven with Teemo or Jinx. Um, even sometimes a Vladimir, maybe a Darius maybe even Katarina, you know, like we want to pair it with all these things like when we're playing the aggro deck. But what we're doing is we are pairing Draven with one singular Ezreal. So so that the reason why we have an Ezreal in here, um, Ezreal is not as good as, as those other champions. So our deck is not as good, but that's, but it's pretty slight, you know, like Ezreal is just kind of whatever, but we, we don't get those other champions. But the great part about it is whenever our opponents when, whenever our opponents check what they're playing against, and you know, at the very beginning of the match, you know, you check like what are the champions my opponent's playing, they're gonna see that we're playing Draven and Ezreal. And Draven and Ezreal is a really popular control deck. And so um, that's that's a deck they've probably played against, you know, a hundred times or whatever. And that's maybe an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Like so people are gonna be mulliganing against Draven Ezreal, the control deck, and that's exactly what we're going to be showing them that we're playing. And then, boom, we could just come out and we just have 10 one-drops and our Boom Crew rookies, and we're just beating them down and, uh, you know, then finish, you know, using Decimates to finish them off. And they're going to, you know, take them by surprise. So hopefully we're going to make our opponents make really bad mulligan decisions um, because they're going to mulligan away anti-aggro cards and try to keep anti-control cards. And that will be awesome. That's that's what we want. So uh, we're gonna get tricky with it. Hopefully this works. I'm pretty excited to uh, try this. All right, Draven, easy aggro. <laughs> this this could be cool. It's also possible it just doesn't work. <laughs> you never know. But yeah, see, they see Draven Ez. All right, we'll get rid of the Decimate and the Salesman. I mean, I really want a one drop because we, we have the attack token turn one. Let's get rid of all this other stuff. Let's look for one drops. No, no one drop. Come on, we got one more shot. Uh, didn't get there. I have 10 one drops, nine two drops. There's our one drop. Look at the other rookie in play. Okay, ready. That really hurt not having a one drop. Run. That could be like another three damage, plus we'd have another, you know, th three two to attack, you know, another three power to attack with. Like that could have been another six damage there. No. So obviously there was one card that I did not want them to play. Like the only card that I'm scared of, scared of in their entire deck is Yasuo, and unfortunately they have the turn four Yasuo.
We only got a lot of mana over there. I guess, so let's see. That's what's going to do two, four, like, doing two to all these. So it didn't work the first time. They had that perfect combo against the Go White Aggro is Yasuo into Intimidating Roar. That is an amazing combo. So, GG's. Intimidating Roar is definitely the kind of card that you would mulligan normally against Draven Ezreal, but obviously they, they could have just drawn it. Okay, so we got a one drop this time. Um, let's keep the other one drop also. Definitely important to get that one drop. But the thing about our deck is it, it is a little lower power level how we don't have more... Um, yeah, we don't have other really good champions really to go along with the Draven. So if we're not drawing a Draven, it's probably better to double spell with the one drops, isn't it? Shots another card you'd really want to mulligan, but I don't know, maybe they kept it. Alright, go get him, Boom Crew Rookie. Attacking basically means they don't get to play a Chump Lump pre-combat. Alright, down to nine. That was a big time attack for us. All that damage getting in. Then next turn, if they play, you know, if they, if they play Karma, oh, I guess they're not just dead if they play Karma. They could still, they could still heal. They could still have the, the one mana gain five. But we have, you know, we have seven. Oh no, we only have six points of burn. Right, Des Decimate costs five, it does four. It doesn't do five. Right, we don't have enough burn anyway. Right, right. So if I play Draven's biggest fan, we get to we get to draw Draven the next turn. Um, barrier life steal. So 
worth it to Mystic Shot my own 2-2 to keep them from gaining life. They stay at 7. They have both things out. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not trying to activate Ez. Yeah, as as just, you know, as a you know, an elusive threat that draws us some mystic shots. Maybe it's worth it just to play three Ez. Like maybe Ez is good enough just to play him. Um oh sorry, so am I mystic shotting this? Okay, so if, if we do they block here, block here. They take three, four. No, we're not Mystic Shotting it. Because not Mystic Shotting means I get to resolve this. They don't have Deny up right now. I really like resolving this Decimate. Love it. I should attack the other way. We should have like the the crappy one power things attack do damage first, and then the three power things. Yeah, basically it's a Mystic Shot Generator. That's Ezreal in our deck. Fool the opponent and generate Mystic Shots. Love it. All right, one and one. I think we could tell with that match how, how my opponent was kind of playing and how they were playing slow just, just kind of from, from a while, oh, like after the first couple of turns. I think we could kind of tell that game that they were like, what is going on? This isn't Draven Ezreal. Especially that, that uh, turn four attack. They didn't have removal, any removal for our turn four attack. That was pretty nice. Alright, Callista Lucian. Let's get rid of these things. There we go, that's better. Ezreal Pump Fake. <laughs> Love it. Mm. I don't like that Warden's Prey at all. I don't like that Warden's Prey one bit. That was a good draw. Because it's basically the Warden's Prey, you know, trades with these things. Is it worth attacking with Boom Crew Rookie? I guess so. Stand and fight. Yes, I will. Yep, sure will, Hada. Yeah, we'll... We'll do a full... Uh, set review talking about all the talking about every new card that we get and how to use them where they could where we can use them and everything Yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be good. Um,
list is too big. I saw I haven't seen the Noxus one, but I saw I saw a couple of the cinematics. Um, I liked the Freljord one. That one that one's my favorite of the cinematics so far, but I haven't seen the Freljord one. Or sorry, I haven't seen the Noxus one. Yeah, they they did say that that they're not gonna reveal the whole set till like just like a day or two before it it releases out. Like they're they're really holding on to it for the most part. So this is them going down to seven. Six. Draw burn spells. Backfired. Want to draw burn spells. They're at six right now. We have the grenadier that can do two damage. Precious pet is probably the worst thing we can draw. It's probably the worst card we could possibly draw. Really playing risky. Noxus one's really good. Cool. Shadow Owls is your favorite. Leveling up, leveling up Draven. Have Draven get this Overwhelm. I feel like that's going to be pretty important, Draven having Overwhelm. We're not trying to play any kind of long game, obviously. Them having eight cards in hand. Oh, come on. Well, that's bad. really bad. That's really bad. That's that's game. Unless we draw decimate, obviously. Like now we're just going to be relying on decimate. Close. 
So close. On Mystic Shot. No. What does he want from me? Why would they play that? Gave me the out of having used Cast Salesman. Alright, one and two. Oh, that's. I messed up the record that round. There we go. I felt pretty good about like where where we were until that rally. That rally was devastating. Obviously, if we if it wasn't for that rally, you know, the Draven attacking with Overwhelm and like those spinning axes, and then uh, you know drawing the get excited, I think we would have won that. Okay, I like this one, two, three. I think I'll keep Ezreal. Let's let's keep Ezreal for the top end. Let's do it. Let's see how, you know, let's kind of test out Ezreal. See how Ezreal plays in an aggro deck where we're not trying to level up as and see see if Ezreal is worth, you know, worth you know maybe playing more. It is good. All right, but we're on the play where we get to, you know, like we get to attack first and we have a one drop. This is the first game that we get to attack first with a one drop, which is obviously a, you know, a big thing that you want with aggro decks. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. This is a curve. We're finally doing it. No. Okay, ready. Good thing Skitter is, you know, good thing Skitter is nerfed, so it only has the two toughness. So it was just trade. I guess our salesman's not so great against fearsomes. Do a little bit of blocking for us. Alright, do I play as or go straight to combat? The thing I'm worried about with playing as is another skitter. I think we go straight to combat. Another mystic shot. We got so many of those.
I kill this Callista. You know, I, I potentially just have 11 damage with like, you know, the 8 burn in hand, and then Ezreal can do 3 uh, elusively, so I potentially just have 11, 11 elusive damage. This is better to kill this thing. <laughs> yeah, so many cool chance not really enough shards and wild cards. Yeah, I was kind of doing the math. Even, I have a whole bunch of shards, you know, but I'm not going to be able to get, um, yeah, I'm not going to get three of every single champ right away on day one. You know, I don't have that many shards. I have a whole bunch of expedition tokens, though. So, this guy says, I hope they can revamp the quest system. It's really lame just getting one a day. I mean, comparatively, that's still really good, right? Alright. I've probably used way too much burn on these champions. Hey, Rex. Yeah, my day's been really good. Dang. All right, so I, I guess I did use too much burn on the on the champions. Sure, it looks like. You know, remember we we are the burn deck. We're not the Ezreal control deck. We are the burn deck. is mean. This is really mean. Alright, we gotta we gotta play like the burn deck, not play like the control deck. So that's my bad. Did not worry about Callista. Yeah, that, that game was my bad. Um, I mean, I like the system. I mean, yeah, you get you just get one daily quest, but I think I think that's still fine. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of way, you know, you still get to earn a lot of XP. And then besides the daily quest, you have like your other region rewards. So it's not like it's not like the daily quests are your only like rewards you're getting every day. You still have all your region rewards, too. So I'm, I'm not sure how they're supposed to do more than more than that. Oh yeah, yeah, they've they had a, a great hand. I mean, if you look at every every single turn they had two through nine it was amazing. But I mean that happens. I, I still had the tools to win if I would have just gone upstairs. I mean I my my one through you know, my one through three turns was absolutely perfect. I I could have I mean my hand was pretty good too, but alright, let's get rid of Mystic Shot. Let's keep all of these. If I keep Saboteur, Saboteur dies pretty easily. Maybe we don't keep Saboteur. Nah, we will keep Saboteur. Yeah, I, I have leveled all the regions. Like 
opportunity. No, don't have Static Shock. Why do they have to have the perfect card? Always the perfect card. Unfortunately, they had the perfect card. Uh, that would have been nice to get a little bit more attacks in. They still haven't officially announced the new region, right? Like there is a new region, but we don't we don't officially know what it is yet. Time to go. All right, well we're getting there. We're almost there. Let's make it Put them down to four. We have the mystic shots for. Two more damage. That's a great draw. I thought you'd never ask. That's a great draw. I wish I could play the experimenter and respond to it with the mystic shot, but I can't. So I can't play this experimenter before combat. I don't miss. And play the Mystic Shot. And obviously I need to play the Mystic Shot, so it's just... Honestly, I shouldn't do this right now. I should pass. I should just pass. They are 100% playing the Mystic Shot. And then after they play the Mystic Shot, I should do this. Okay, good. Because basically I was worried about them having Deny. If they, Because if they Deny this, that would have been really bad. Alright, they didn't have Deny. So that's very good. Those were like, you know, just three great cards to draw. See, this is what our, our deck's all about. This this game is what our deck's all about. They're like sitting here thinking like, where did this go wrong? What kind of hand did I keep? Like, what What is going on? Where we just came through and annihilated them. This is the show what our deck's all about game. And boom goes the dynamite. Two and three. So not the best record. We did run into some pretty good hands. We also had some some rough mulligans, but I like it. I like it. I think I think we're pretty close. I think we're pretty close. I mean, I think um, you know maybe some of these cards could get changed up a little bit. Like crowd favorite didn't really look that good. Yeah, crowd favorite did not look very good. 
Experimenter looked great, and without playing... Without really having the other champions, we probably want another Experimenter without having the other champions that can really pull some weight also. Um, you know, with, with Experimenter uh, doing that draw three, we probably... I mean, we may even want just three of this card. You know, basically use basically have Augmented Experimenter be our second champion. You know, have like Draven plus Experimenter as our champions. Um, play Captain Farron. Um, is there a better three or four mana card to be playing than crowd favorite? Not sure. Should we be playing Kempunk Pickpocket? Kind of will play Pickpocket. Uh, that's a link to the Imger that has all the new cards. Um, that have been revealed so far. So I feel like, let's see. So yeah, I feel like I didn't really like the Draven's biggest fan, but I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's better with the experimenters. Is that? Maybe that's not bad, just playing three Augmented Experimenter. Maybe it's not bad. So, so the problem with playing three of this card, it's not a card you ever want to draw two of. Because if you draw two of if you draw two of these, when you play the whenever you play the first one, you have to discard your hand, and therefore you discard the second one. However, our deck can mitigate that a little bit because if we do have two of them. The second one we can discard it to either get excited or uh, Draven Spinning Axe, and so we can still utilize the second one um, for for like those kind of cards. But honestly, Experimenter may be just may be just that important um, and that valuable, even if it's even if we have to you know discard two cards. Um, like let's just say we have two cards in hand that we have to uh, discard, then the Experimenter would be a six mana three three that also is used as a removal spell, right? Three three damage to an enemy unit, and then also you get to you know gain one card and you loot away two cards that you know you probably don't need because you were playing this and get three fresh cards. This is probably just the power at the top end that our deck needs. Um I like it. I like it. All right, fun to play. Uh, yeah, then cool idea. We'll we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this with the augmented experimenters. Um, but yeah, I think I think this is this is just a, a pretty neat idea. So Draven as aggro. I don't think we really need the three Ezreals. You know, like I don't think we need to keep max down on Ezreals. I think the one's probably good enough. After playing those. All right, those y'all watched on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, the, you know, let me know what you think of this idea. And if you have other ideas for some other like super popular decks that you can do this. Um, one is is certainly like Karina control, right? You use Elise as your only um, champ, and then play real aggressive, and you can make an aggressive uh, deck where they probably think it's Karina control because Elise is the only champ. Uh, but I'm not sure how good that deck would be, but maybe it'd be pretty good. Um, but yeah, there's other ones like that that, you know, you want me to try like some, so kind of like some fake decks, you know, like this was like fake Dra Draven Ezreal um, control being the aggro instead. Uh, yeah, let me know. All right, but that's it here for Draven as aggro. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.